Uh, today I'm doing uh, the North Shore of Massachusetts outside the Boston area. Um, just a few places. Um, I'm gonna kind of gear towards like older bookstores versus new stuff. Um, Cause what I've learned is a lot of the new stuff they have a lot of collectors here, and so it's usually gone by the time I get there for anything that's new and hyped. But I did find some stuff here and there. So I'm going to Kamikaze first, and um, I've bought from them before. They're in Somerville, so they're in like the Boston metro area, and they have some good stuff there. So let's see what I can snag from them, and then we'll go off to Salem, and then I'm doing sort of like a little um, loop west and north, and then coming back into Boston. So here we go. Scored pretty good. Found another Marvel team up annual one. Nova one, it's in great condition. X-Men 108, it's looking to replace it. Black Panther one, New Mutants Annual two. Submariner five, first appearance of Tiger Shark. Um, these are all Submariner books, nothing super high end. This is a pretty cool Doctor Doom appearance, 57. 67, his new costume, 72, and annual. So, scored pretty good there. Paid a pretty penny on a lot of books, but I'm on to the next store. I'm at Harrison's Comics in Salem, Massachusetts. Um, so much traffic getting here. I feel like there's a big event happening in the city and I don't know about it, but the store is pretty darn big, so... Hoping to find some good stuff, so we'll see. Uh, Harrison's was a dud. Scored this printing of Department of Truth, Sensational She-Hulk 2. Um, they were extremely picked over, and the guy was like, oh yeah, we don't have any high-end books. If we do, um, we usually sell it to friends. So, it's all good. On to the next one. I'm trying out Nick's Comet Strip. Um, I forget where it's located. Um, it's near Salem. Um, oh, Danvers. Um, but they looked, it looked huge. So maybe we'll find something good here. Who knows? Um, but here we go. Uh, a little picked over, but I did score this nice Submariner 29 against Hercules, it looks like. Yeah. Um, Captain Marvel, volume 11, number one, the second print. Uh, and then Return of the Jedi 2 and 4. Last stop is Mint Collectibles um, in North Reading, Massachusetts. Um, they look like they had some good back issues, so we'll see. Scored massively big at this place. Um, so we'll start with the, the cheaper stuff. So Captain Marvel number 8, first appearance of Star. Um, this was, I didn't say anything when I grabbed it. Once in Future number one, eighth printing, eight dollars. Um, and then I scored number two, the third printing. Um, and then number three, I think that's the third printing as well. Um, Avengers 44 for 30 bucks really good mid. Um, score this because I love the cover. Um, <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 62 for 30. Um, Marvel Spotlight number 29, 15 bucks. Submariner number 19, 20 bucks. X-Men number 64 for Sunfire, 80, steel deal. Um, Submariner 50, this is in like minty condition, this is 100. Um, X-Men 107, um, not the best cutting, but it's in really good condition for 150. And then I needed this to complete almost all my like 12 through what, going forward, X-Men 83, it's a reprint with Spidey. So that's it for today. Um, 
amazing books in that last that last run so I'm super happy um, now I'm off to um, home for the day or my, where I'm staying so till tomorrow so this was great this last shop I was like I need to know to come back to you amazing books great um, guy too so really smart really just like fair with the pricing too so very happy with what I got there everyone uh, so I am on my way up to Maine and I'm stopping by just like a few few spots um, I mostly need to be somewhere for three so I'm a little limited for time um, and after yesterday's haul I felt I, sh I don't want to like push it too much so uh, I'm trying to find some of the bigger stores along the way um, see if I can find some bigger keys and whatnot. Uh, one thing I did notice uh, yesterday is uh, that last shop that I scored a bunch of stuff at. I was so bummed. I looked at the Avengers 44 that I picked up and it has pages cut out of it. So I was like, you win some, you lose some. So <laughs> I'll probably give that to my brother or something. Just be like, here you go. Enjoy this comic that's essentially not worth anything. But you know, it's from the 60s or whatever, so, um, so I am on the road and let's see what the, uh, I only have like three or four places I'm going to go today and then Sunday I might do like one or two and then be kind of done with it. <laughs> um, I'm also realizing that a lot of stores, because free comic book day is, Saturday and they're having a lot of um, sales on Saturday of course I have th I'm doing something else on Saturday so I I'm gonna miss like all these sales <laughs> so it's all good though I feel like they don't put the big books out anyway for sales so so here we go so um, let's see what our first store is so our first stop is Chris's comics and sports cards in um, Seabrook, New Hampshire. So it's along I-95. So that's where all the cars go and buy me. Um, so let's see what I can find here. Um, I did pretty decent there. Um, the store was a little all over the place and I had to um, really dig. And then their behind-the-counter stuff was a little... Um, was a little hard to navigate, but... Um, I did get X-Men 114, um, X-Men 120, uh, found Young Avengers number 8, um, I just ended up saying that, but Champions 1, this is like the Newberry Comics black and white. Um, I've been looking for this and they had multiple copies of it, but Ms. Marvel number 5, magnificent Ms. Marvel number 5. Um, Astonishing X-Men number one. Um, Marvel Superhero Contest of the Champions. Uh, Ms. Marvel 23. Ms. Marvel 15. And I grabbed this from my brother, Cyber Force 1. <laughs> so I'm heading to, well I'm actually here, um, Stairway to Heaven Comics. They're Sign is really hard to see, so I'm not going to photograph it. So let's see what I find here. This store mostly had newer books, but um, I did score Thundercats 5, 6, and 7. And then um, a pretty minty Gambit number 1. And then um, Thor number 3. The 1 in 25 Jane Foster run. Um, this one is, um, it's not near mint plus. Maybe near mint minus. Um, but pretty, pretty nice store. Um, very well organized and I like to call it clean so you can kind of see everything. Um, and it helped you navigate through the store. So, a lot of current stuff, so not much old. 
All right, so now I'm gonna drive up to Maine. I'm gonna bypass Portland, and I might go to Portland on my way back to visit those stores there because I won't have enough time. So, one more store today. And we'll see how that shop is like. A lot of them are in, um, like, shopping plazas. So, so that's good. All right, got some driving to do. This place has a, a big parking lot, so, and no sign. But I only have 15 minutes. <laughs> um, so we'll see what I can find here. Um, I feel like I'm just spending a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but I did buy some keys. Um, but I did get Black Panther number seven. Le that was the cheap purchase. Uh, and then followed by um, Amazing Adventures number 11. So this is when Beast turns into the furry beast. Um, and then the big books. Um, Submariner number one. Um, I have this already, but a lower condition, so I bought a higher condition one. Uh, and then, I just don't know if I'll ever see this in the wild, but I bought Iron Fist 14 for Sabretooth. Um, I'm not sure if I did well for price, for what I bought, but, um... I wanted them, so, so it's all, it's all good. So, done for the day. Gonna put the AC on because it's currently 90 out here and enjoy my evening. Okay, we have, I'm just gonna maybe hit up some stores on my way back, but aside from that, I think I'm probably comic out. <laughs>